All right, so I'm going to do a quick review on these artificial intelligence tools. So I've been spending a lot of time with artificial intelligence of lately. Um, one of the problems that I've had is the fact that I keep jumping into multiple meetings all day long and I don't have enough time to kind of summarize and organize the notes related to the meeting. The problem with that is that a week later or two, when I need to refer back to that meeting to understand what was discussed, I have very poor notes just to kind of talk about what, what I do from a note standpoint um, just to give you an idea is I let me see if I could find some just non so so here as an example right so this is my Dwayne I have this, you know this is a random type of month normally so I have this format that I put which is I mean this is my one note and I have sort of like some preset organization then these are I'm supposed to be putting notes in here Tuesday did this meeting notes Wednesday meeting notes etc um, the problem is I ended up just writing with my iPad tablet um, sorry with my iPad um, pencil and then I have something like this but then or like this right which is fine it does allow me to kind of mostly regurgitate the information not regurgitate but um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for it allows me to just retain the information so this is fine. The problem is, is that it's not structured and I can't do any single thing else with it. So I've been on this hunt to find AI tools. And as just an example, I got a meeting in another 10 minutes, right? So I'm trying to squeeze this call through. I'm going to jump on that call. I'll have that meeting with those guys and then I need to jump off again. And this is sort of happening all the time. So it's just too, like, for example, I had a 7.30 and then I had an 8 o'clock and then I now I'm doing another meeting just in between. So there's not enough time to properly organize the notes. So long story short, I started using this read.ai tool, which is very good, um, read.ai. So I figured, why not just have the bots fight it out? I mean, they're going to take over our lives anyway, so let the, let the bots fight fight, and just get to a place where I determine which one is the right one. So um, by far, I'm just going to just cut to the chase. Read.ai is the best. Um, I've used other otter.ai and the other one that I've used is fi f i r e fireflies they both suck is how I would describe them so otter first of all I'm both of them I'm on a trial period okay. oops sorry that was my light that almost fell um anyway so if, if I go to otter it'll show me a bunch of events it's jumping into every meeting however it shows for example my conversations Daily meeting. I don't know who this person is. I don't remember. That's how crazy things have gotten. Gives me a summary. And then it just gives me a transcribe of the meeting, which is okay. But so how to deal with the news summary, how to run a campaign, how to find mailbox email, how to switch your email. So then it just prompts me to upgrade and that's it. Action items don't see anything. Comments don't see anything. Highlights anything. It's just it's it's very very basic. I wouldn't say basic, but I mean it does a good job of transcribing the meeting. But in terms of like actual functionality, there's nothing here. So I, I this tool is definitely a waste of time. In fact, after this call, I'm gonna cancel the account and just just be done with it. In fact, if I could find it right now, I will do that. Do it. Yes. To continue to verify your owner. Yeah, 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 yeah whatever right so we'll deal I'm just gonna get rid of that the second one is this firefly fireflies.ai and it does so this one has you know it shows me all the different meetings and stuff like that and then it shows me the ones that are coming up and then here it says meeting like notebooks and then it kind of goes into this my meetings right and it shows me all of this so I had this meeting with these guys here just just recently um, and then it here it gives me a transcribe, but then I again I'm in I'm in trial like you're trying to think. So the only thing that it's allowing me to do is like upgrade for transcription. The other tools first of all are giving me transcription by default even in the trial, and secondly, you, it seems like like transcription is the highlight here, which you you got to do better than that. So. Compare that to read.ai, 
what I have is so this was the meeting here, which I don't know why it's showing untitled because the other one, interestingly enough, the Firefly one did pick up on the title. But if I come into this dashboard here, first of all, what I like about it is that it gives me a meeting summary, which I really appreciate. So it actually summarizes all that transcribe. So Dwayne discussed the development of scheduling system, utilizing scheduling platform. He wants to be able to send email, create work orders, yada, 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 which is pretty good, right? Then you come down a little bit more, it says meeting, score, engagement. All this is just fluff content, but it's kind of cool. And then it has, you know, who talked the most, no surprise, Dwayne here, tend to do a lot of the talking and all the people in the meeting, etc. Also, um, yeah, so that's that. And then if I come into the, here, view transcript and thing, it'll give me the full transcript of the meeting along with what was discussed, creating generic payload, the topics, webhook system scheduler, action items, right? Both of those are the two, two Things that I showed you were the exact same thing and they don't do any half a decent of the job. So as a result, I've decided that I'm just going to go with Rita AI seems to have the best set of features. There is one con that I want to mention very quickly, which is when you share, if you click on the share here and you copy the link in order to share, the problem with this, and this drives me nuts, but I know why they do it. And it just, I want to be able to share this without having to log in. I'd like it to be an independent share where you think so right now you're forced to log into the tool in order to see the stuff and then basically I mean they're just obviously looking for signups right and then what it does it's it allows you to um, basically it just sends you this the meeting policy so it, it sends you here but it gives you a, a sort of a trial profile which I don't think is ideally in the perfect world it would take this information it kind of summarize it on like a Excel not Excel, sorry, a PDF document or something. Um, so the only way to get around that is right now you have to do sort of copy and, and maybe just paste it in Word or Notepad or something, right? So that's what I've been doing. It's just just copy and pasting it in, in, in Notepad. Um, then it'll give me sort of the raw text, not as structured and not as formatted, right? So it's giving me this part here. Then I have to kind of come in and and copy this part, right? And then, you know, and then copy this part here, right? So it's like they're so close, but then you know they just they just mess up on this on this like why? Give me this in a nice, uh, very plain document that I could just share with people and or just copy, just this, drop it into email and make some edits. I'm done, right? The other thing that's missing is a webhook because in the perfect world. If it had a webhook where after the meeting it basically triggers one of my internal services and check some of the other videos i'm sure i'll have some other videos about how that works then if i if i had a webhook then i would send that in i would take that put it into my sort of internal note system and then have an email automatically send out to all of the recipients that were on the meeting pre-formatted so in other words give me some more programmatic tools so i could kind of massage the notes a little bit better and then that i think that would help so um but all in all it's a it's an interesting tool it's definitely worth the 10 bucks a month at least for, for me personally and then what was the last thing here it does do recording so i don't know if it recorded this particular meeting but as far as i understand yeah so you see here so it, it I normally i think i might i might have turned off that option so and then let me see there was one other thing i wanted to show in it in the email R E A D dot A I. Just very, very quickly while I close this off. So read that AI meet. Yeah, it does say, it has the ability to send participants, right? You can send sort of like, um, so it could send you like this kind of stuff. I just find the format is just not the best. That's the problem here. It's better. It's better. It's okay. But. It's a lot of a lot of garbage stuff around it. I, I would just like to just forward this to somebody else and you know, so but anyway, definitely worth the tool, definitely worth the effort. It's the best one that I've seen so far. Um if I didn't mention it does jump in like for example, if it just finds the meeting on the calendar because it's connected to my Google account and it just jumps into them automatically. That's Teams and uh Zoom. 
So those are the two main tools that I use. So those are the ones that I could talk about. So anyway, just thought I'd share that with you before I jump into my next call. Thank you. Have a good day.